That was pretty fast there, I could tell. Please don't tuck, sir. Damn it, dude. I did even worse and just went over the whole damn burn. Okay, up over this. Cut inside. We're not going to make it. Let's go middle, middle to outside. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. You have to kind of... All right, everyone, welcome back to Mixed Bikes here. Today, we're going to be doing something very sick, and we got something very sick to do it on. Shout out to JJ for these bikes. These enduro bikes are sick, and I can't wait to test them out. And I haven't done something like this before. We're going to be testing them out on a motocross track, because why not, okay? Something different. Um, This is one of my favorite motocross tracks out right now. It, it just dropped. It's so sick. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to play it. It is literally just a wide-open track. And I can't wait to try it out here with the enduro bikes and see how these do on a motocross track. So let's get right into this here. Like, dude, look at the ruts on this place. You can just absolutely rip, dude. So, oh, dude, I just thought there's a big triple on this track, okay? And I mean a big triple. I don't know if we're going to be able to clear it on this enduro bike. So far, this bike feels like it rips. Come on. Oh, that's a big trouble. Dude, it Wow. This bike actually rips. Okay, it does kind of have a little bit of a shorter gearing. But, I mean, it still absolutely rips. So far, first impressions of the bike is... Has really... Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, how did I save that? Um, really good suspension. And it actually has really good power, too. Um, I'm impressed. Oh! The one thing I kind of do feel on this bike is... um. The front end does feel a little tucky, you know, it feels like you can push the front end in this bike really easily. Let's talk about the track here for one second. The track is super sick. It has a lot of, the thing I really like about this track is all the ruts are really sick and the nice thing about it is it's so good for racing, bro. It's not a one line track. There's multiple lines, like check this out. There's three lines to this corner, inside, middle, and outside. And if you hit each of them fast, if you hit the inside fast, and the person messes up slightly in the middle, or they hit it still good, but you hit it the inside faster, like, they all equal out. If you hit the line faster, even if it's inside or outside, you can actually make passes on here pretty easily, which is pretty, pretty cool. I really like tracks like that. Um, a nice inside-outside option there. This corner is sick, dude. This inside rut is so nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. The front end is a little tucky. You can definitely feel the front end wants to wash away a little easily. Um... Oh, stop. Okay. Ugh. That triple is so sick, dude. Okay, up over that. We're going to go inside. Oh, I messed it up. Damn it. I tried to go inside there, but I accidentally ruined it. That's okay. This is like a little bit of a... Little, I don't know what you'd call that. Like a dragon's back? This section right here is kind of tricky sometimes. you got to hop over that. I think get up over this huge table. That was actually sick. Let's do some third person actually for you guys here so we can check out the enduro bike in third person or something like that. All right. Come on. I really like these turning doubles. They flow really, really good. And then you got an inside right here. Really, really nice inside that I'm probably not going to hit very good, which I did not in third person. And then I was thinking, I don't know about on a 250 up, but on a 450, I bet you could triple all the way up through the inside and land right on the downside of that thing. That probably wouldn't be a half bad line. And then right here, throughout here is my favorite line is the outside. Probably going to mess it up in third. Wow, I'm surprised. We're actually not doing half bad in third person right now, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Yep, there there it is. Okay. So when I go outside, usually when I'm trying to put in heaters, I try to go outside. I probably should go middle line. I try to go outside and land all the way down here. It uh, can be a little bit of a pain, but I mean, it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. I think that middle line's the best through there. And then... These little rollers are so sick. They're so high speed. It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but... Um, this double flow is so good. You can catch the inside if you make it perfect. Wow, I'm surprised, you guys. We're not doing that bad in third person. The bike feels really good, though. Really good suspension. The only thing I can say bad about them, maybe... Oh, does need a little bit of work is the front end. But, I mean, other than that, it's, it's solid. The back is it just me, you guys, or does it look like the back end of this bike sits up really high? Like the the uh, clearance between the back tire and back fender looks like it's pretty big. The back suspension, hold on, it looks really stiff. It's like not even moving. Hold on, this back suspension looks stiff as hell, you guys. I mean, it feels really good on the track, so that doesn't matter. But I'm just like. 
Yeah, that backs it. Let's let's send this a little bit here. All right, let's see what happens when we land off this. Oh, we're gonna case too. Let's see what this. Is. Bro, yeah, that back suspension's kind of stiff. I mean, it's still it's doing its job really well. I like how it is. Oh, well, maybe it's not that stiff. It's kind of hard to tell. It just looks like it has a lot more clearance than normal, but maybe I'm just tripping. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, really. All right, we're gonna rip a little bit more in third person, then we'll go back into some first. Ugh, get over that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out this track already, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is one of my favorite. It's probably one of the most wide open tracks on MX bikes to date, um, in my opinion. Come on, I like this outside. It's so pinned. Then you can scrub up over that. Okay, let's try the middle line out this time, like I was talking about last time. Where does it take us? Okay. That does seem faster than the outside, 100%. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go through here. This is my favorite part of the track, dude. These rollers are so sick. Oh, stop. Almost swapped. Catch the inside. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Let's go back into first person here so we can go actually rip it up quite a bit more. Ugh. One thing I really do like about this bike, you guys, is the sound. Sounds amazing. Come on. Up over that. Okay, that's not good. Through that. So I can't tell which line's faster through here or better. Going around that hump or just going over it? Because it, 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 it takes a little bit of time to go around it because the line I take through that corner, it leads right onto it. So probably just going over it might be a little bit faster. But hard to say, hard to say. This triple, you really have to hit with good momentum through the corner, which I just absolutely ruined. So we're just going to double it. We're not going to waste our time trying to triple it because I ain't even going to get close to that. Okay. Take middle line here. Oh my, you like see the front end right there, dude. I, I might have tapped it off the rut though. I really wasn't paying attention right there. That could have been my fault. But I'm just comparing it to like the other uh, enduro pack. Ugh. For on the motocross track though, this enduro bike absolutely shreds it up. Oh, look at that outside line. Wait, what? Is that considered off track? I think it was because the track markers were a little past it. Oh, we're done for. We're done for. We're done for. I did not mean to cut the inside like that. All right, let's try to put a decent lap in. I think I like this line better. Oh, bro. Okay. I don't really know what fast lap times are yet for this track, so if we could put one in without going down, we'll count that as a decent lap. If we go down, then it's just meeked out, I guess. Okay, let's go middle line here. I kind of like the middle line. There we go. Not bad through there. Oh, coming up a little short. No, we're good. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, really? I'm off track, dude. Stop. Okay, we're back on. Don't worry about it, you guys. That was all part of the plan. Can we go inside here? Front end. Dude, can you get out? Uh, can you move? Uh, nah. All right. Got a bad jump off of that. That's okay, though. <clears throat> through that middle line. Almost said inside. And then I think this is one of the better lines through here. In my opinion, it feels like it. Ooh, those rollers can catch you really off guard like it almost just did me if you don't straighten your bike up in time. No! Damn it, motherfucker. All right, I went back to pit, bro. I, I want to try to run one decent lap, okay? This one. Let's try if we can't run one right here. Fuck! Okay, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. Just, bro, can I do one without going down, please? That's all I'm asking for, man. Just stay upright. Okay, let's focus up. Come on. Maybe if I be a little bit even more quiet, quiet we'll uh, focus up. There we go. That wasn't bad to there. And through here. Okay. Oh, we went over that. It's okay. We can recover. I don't like the entrance right here of this corner. Okay. Front end. Do not try that again. Side. Are you kick? What happens? I'm just running. This is my last chance for a decent lap. Oh god. Go over it again, dude. That's pretty fast there. I can tell. Please don't talk, sir. Damn it, dude. I did even worse and just went over the whole damn burn. Okay, up over this. Cut inside. We're not going to make it. Let's go middle, middle to outside. 
See, that's what I'm talking about right there. You have to kind of fuck. Okay, last try. This is the last try right here. I don't care what happens. This is now officially the last try. Okay, over that. There we go. That wasn't bad. Can I please make it through this part of the track? Come on, come on. Wasn't bad. Oh, nope. Okay, we'll go outside. Dude, that's so... F I hit that so slow. Okay, we're good. Looking not too bad. I mean, it's kind of a slow lap, honestly, but I guess we just stay upright. We'll call the dub in the chat. We go up over the triple. Don't die from that, sir. Oh, my, I almost died. Okay, over that. Don't die, don't die. Oh my god, that was so sketch. Yeah, this is not, even if I stay up, this is not going to be a good lap, but let's try this outside line. That line seems good. Over the double. Inside, please. Inside. No! Don't go down. Oh, my God. This lap is meeked. This lap is absolutely meeked. Well, that's the lap, I guess. Okay. This is probably going to be like a fucking... I don't even know. Oh, my God. Bro, stop. Okay. That... I'm... I'm, I'm done here. Um... That's a wrap on today's video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and drop likes. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, these bikes, final thoughts are good. Um, they'd still be solid bikes. They're still pretty good as is, but I think they just need a little work. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.